Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study sand casting patterns and cause. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Patterns and cause. The pattern is a full-sized model of the part, enlarged to account for shrinkage and machining allowances. Made of plastic, wood or metals. Wood is cheap and easy to machine. Wood however, tend to wrap. Thus, limiting the number of times it can be used. Metal is more expensive, but it can be a good choice if the number of parts to be made is high. Plastic represent a compromise between wood and metal. There are various types of patterns. Solid pattern, is of the simplest type and easiest to fabricate. However, it is not the easiest to use in making a sand mold, because in solid pattern, it is difficult to determine the parting line, also incorporating the razor and gating system needs high skill. In the figure A, we can see a solid pattern. On the other hand, split patterns consist of two pieces, dividing the part along a line coinciding with the mold's parting line. These patterns are appropriate for complex part geometries and moderate quantities. In the figure B, we can see a split pattern. Match plate patterns. These patterns are appropriate for high production quantities. In these patterns, the two pieces of the split pattern are attached to opposite sides of a wood or metal plate. Holes in the plate allow the cope and drag of the mold to be aligned accurately. The figure C shows a match plate pattern. Cope and drag patterns. These patterns are appropriate for high production quantities. Similar to match plate patterns except that split pattern halves are attached to separate plates so that the cope and drag sections can be fabricated independently, instead of using the same tooling for both. The figure D shows a cope and drag pattern. The core defines the internal features of a casting. The core is usually made of sand, compacted into the desired shape. As with the pattern, the actual size of the core must account for the shrinkage and machining. Chaplets are used as supports for the core. They may or may not be necessary depending on the part's geometry. They are made of metals that have higher melting points than the casting. The figure A shows core held in place in the mold cavity by chaplets. The figure B shows possible chaplet design and the figure C shows casting with internal cavity. So, we have studied patterns and cause used in sand casting. Thank you.